Rahmans, mm. and uh, we were in uh, at the Salat Academy for uh, some times, and uh, we had. And so then uh, we went with Salat offices and uh, we had the, uh, we had some good time there. What is your future planning means for your family and for you? Do you have any means uh, certain planning or just you have not planned anything? No, I think uh, I don't have any plan. So there's normal you know, routine days and uh, normal plans. So we wake up in the morning and go to attend and a prayer and then go to the office and then come to the home so that's that's the only thing there is just uh, the only plan that uh, i would like to achieve my master degree and uh, it will be finished in uh, in 2000 in july 2019 okay. So, so, do you want to have any kind of business in future? Independent business? No. Independent business? Still, I did not thought about that. Did not think. Still, I did not think about that. And but you, uh, in the future, if I had any plans, so if I if I think about, so I will have a plan. If I thought about, I will have a plan. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, oh, what do you want your children to be? Means like uh, uh, business people or any kind of uh, professional like doctor lawyer engineer do you have do you want your children to be something like that or you you let them be free what uh, what they can decide themselves what they want to be in their life no so I would like to educate them and then they will uh, decide their future themselves. I will only provide them the facility to to get education mm. and uh, so the, with regard to their profession so I will leave on them mm. so they will de decide themselves. They will decide themselves. Huh? We will decide themselves, yes. Okay. I think this is the better. What about you? Yes, is this yes, good? You are absolutely right. Actually, we should not compel them to be something. Let them do what they really want to do in their life. Yeah. Hmm. So, do you believe in God? Yeah, why not? I believe in God. The, there is a God who created this world. There is a God who created, who, who found the world, who, who found the world, who created the human beings. Created or who found the human beings? Which one is correct? 
Yeah, I created so that's the God who created uh, the human beings and who guide the human beings, who sent one one hundred thousand and twenty four um, messengers to the world for guidance of the people, for teaching of the people. So we have a holy Quran which is the constitution for all over the world, for all human beings. So everything is there in the Holy Quran and um, that's very much clear and there is clear instructions to the human being for their, uh, for, for, for the guidance, for, uh, for uh, how to live, for the way of life, for, uh, for the business, for everything. So we have clear instructions in the Holy Quran and thereafter we have Hadith. Uh, hadith mean uh, the guidance and the instruction of the messenger. So that's also very much clear. Uh, so have you heard the name of uh, Zakir Naik in India, who is very famous all over the world? Mm, I know, but he has been expelled from India. So he He's not now in India? Do you know that? Do you know that? Where is he? Uh, he is out of India. Actually, the police, I don't know. police of India is looking for him, but he is, you know, underground. Means he is out of India. Ah. He is not coming back. So, so where is he? That uh, I don't know about his whereabouts, but uh, he means he hasn't come back. Mm, and what about his uh, TV and his schools and his uh, foundation? Are they still operative in India? I think uh, I think they are not being operated because actually. So, but uh, uh, I watch I watch uh, I watch his television every day, and his uh, the television is operative still and. Uh, and the television, the schools, so we we see the programs about the their schools. So I think it's operative. Actually, because it's okay, but he speaks actually against Hinduism. You know, it's okay. nah, he's not he's not uh, he's not speaking against Hinduism. He is teaching every every religion, Hinduism. Uh, uh, Islam and Christians who he, he teaches uh, all of them. Actually, do you know Tariq Pate? No, I don't know Tariq Pate. Tariq Pate. He is from. Who's the, Who's he? He is a very lovely person, Tariq Pate. Actually, he is from Pakistan, mm -hmm. but uh, he lives mm -hmm. in India. Mm -hmm. And he is most respected person in India. He hasn't got. He is a Muslim. He is a Muslim. Tariq Fateh. Yes, he is a Muslim. He is a Muslim, and he is from Pakistan. But he doesn't live there. He doesn't like Pakistan. He lives in India, <coughs> and he has been trying to get citizenship of India. But uh, he hasn't got because of some, you know, formalities, documentation and all. And, uh, and he's for how long he is living there? For many years actually. And uh, he is respected very much by the TV channel and all. And in fact, <clears throat> I tell you one thing that uh, people think that Jakir Naik uh, has got very good knowledge about Quran and all, but in fact, he doesn't know. But uh, I know that it is very, you know, strange for you to listen that. But it is the fact that he doesn't know anything about Quran. He just makes people, you know, uh, because the people, you know, the Muslim community um, means most of them don't know about Quran, Ayat and all these things. So he just make them, you know, uh, fool that 
it is written in that ayat, it is written in that ayat, like this. This is the fact. Actually. No, so, <laughs> no, th but that, that's written, that's written there. No, no, no. He's not, uh, he's not talking, uh, no, without any reference or without any No, you are not knowledge. getting so, me, actually. You are not getting me. I am not saying that it is not written in uh, Quran. It is written in Quran. But he doesn't know. Mm -hmm. He speaks, you know, the random that it is written on that ayat number, this, this, this. He means because the people don't know whether he is speaking truth or not. That I am saying. I am not talking about Quran. I am talking about Jakir Naik. Are you getting my mm -hmm. point? Yeah. I am not <coughs> means pointing the Quran. I am pointing out that person, Jakir Naik. Because he speaks that it is written there, it is written there. But he doesn't know the numbers and all these things. He just speaks randomly. And people think that, okay. oh, he knows everything about Quran, but he doesn't know. That I am saying. <clears throat> I think you are not getting my point. No, I got your point. So, uh, yeah, I don't know these things, but uh, we just uh, see uh, him on the television and he is delivering the lectures, he is delivering the speech. That's very good and that they're very knowledgeable. And he speaks about the Quran, the religion, and he, he, he guides people to, to accept. He is, he is not knowledgeable, yeah. actually. He is making people fool. Because actually you don't know about him because you are just watching his uh, you know lectures on television and YouTube and all. Otherwise, you know uh, the, we know him very well here in India because he is from India. We know it, and that's why he hasn't come back to India. His property, mm -hmm. everything has been seized by the government. <coughs> And where is his uh, family? That I don't know, but uh, he was a doctor earlier, I think. Mm. But he started that business and now he is a millionaire. He has uh, accumulated money, you know, by doing all these things. Mm -hmm. Do you know this or not? Sorry? Means he has actually accumulated wealth, money by doing mm -hmm. all these things. Yeah. But in fact he is not a guru. He is not a guru of Muslim. But he uh, poses like that. He is a very learned person. He is the guru like that. He is, means self-declared guru of Muslim. Are you getting my point? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> he is not respected here. Mm. And uh, who is a very famous uh, speaker or uh, very famous uh, uh, Muslim in the India? Dr. Abdul Kalam. Mm. You know Dr. Abdul Kalam? Yeah, who was the president, uh, ex-president of India? Yes, he was a great man. We respect him very much. He is no more, but he was respected by everyone, everyone. Because he was a real, real human being. Mm -hmm. Dr. Abdul Kalam. Yeah, and he's, he was an eligible person as well. Yes, he was very learned. He always does everything for human being, you know. And when he died, he had nothing with him. No money, nothing, only books. Mm -hmm. He had books on him. Okay. And he was a, bach he was a bachelor. He didn't get married. You know? He was bachelor? Yes. 
Nah. Yes. Well, why, why, why he did not marry? That I don't know, but he didn't get married. And he was a scientist in India. Do you know this? Yeah. He is called Missile Man in India. He created missiles in India. <laughs> yes. He was a great, yeah. great human being. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. Okay, now I ask you some other questions. Okay. Is crime, okay. is crime a big problem in your country or city? Describe? No, crime is crime. Ah, yeah, crime is a very bad uh, big problem. Big problem. Problem in the city, yes. So, what kind of crime? Because uh, most of the street crimes, they are very uh, a lot of occur uh, here in Afghanistan, and uh, most of robbery and these things. These are very common street crime, which is called street crime. Do you call street crime as well? No. So, um, street crime means actually just. Uh, uh, me the snatcher, you can say the people, some of the you know people who are unemployed or who are not educated or who are illiterate, you can say in other words, they do such kind of crime. Me, so what uh, kind of crime is it? Means uh, it is snatching parts or uh, what kind of crime is it? Yeah, snatching some uh, um, abduction oh. and cars, these are very common. Abduction is what? Car stealing. Hmm? Car stealing. What is it? So they are also, for example, who rub the car, rubbing the cars, this thing like that. Robbing, robbing. Huh? Yeah. Robbing or robbing? Rob. Okay. Rob means lootna. Lootna, oh yeah. Means they rob cars on the roads and street in the dark. Is it like this? Yeah, Rob, yes, yes. Okay. So mean the people are uh, robbed of their belongings when they are alone or when they are in the dark, right? Yes. Okay. <coughs> so what is the what is the situation of law and order? Means uh, is police active there? Police are not that much active, which we hope from them. So police is not very active there. Yeah, police are not very active here. So That's why uh, 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 street crime, uh, the, uh, the, the average of the street crime is very high. Okay, so when any common or ordinary person goes to police station for... Sorry, again. Hmm? Sorry, again, again. Okay, when any common or an ordinary person mm -hmm. goes to police station mm -hmm. for the help, mm -hmm. for any kind mm -hmm. of help, does he get the help mm -hmm. from the police station? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So he will make an application. He will file a complaint, and on the basis of uh, his complaint, the people, uh, police will act accordingly. Police will visit. Uh, police will investigate. Police will arrest if there is the arrest. Uh, if the complaint is filed for the arrest of someone, so he the police will call the person and negotiate and investigate the issue, and then he will arrest the person as well. I will report it to the police near his uh, police station mm -hmm. because this is the responsibility under the law. Mm -hmm. This is the responsibility of every human being that whenever mm -hmm. citizens, every citizen, mm -hmm. that whenever they see any crime uh, committed before them, so they need to report it to the police station. So the police will. Act and will investigate the issue. So, have you ever been a victim of any crime? Not yet. Okay. Now. Let's talk about a topic, love. So wow, what, what a, what what a good topic. Love? Yes, what is love? Love is life. Have you loved? <laughs> <laughs> good question. Okay. Am I correct or not? Love is life. Yeah, of course. Love is life and life is love. <laughs> love, love is life, and life is wife, and wife is knife, and knife <laughs> cut the whole life. <laughs> Very good. <coughs> Very nice. Okay. So, who or whom do you love? My my wife, who has been died. Uh, who has died? I love her very much. Huh? Sorry again. Who has died? Who has died? Mm -hmm. Okay, I know that you told me last time. Yes. So you. Okay. So. So that was means arranged marriage or what means yeah, you got married with her? It was not, no, it was not arranged marriage, it was a love marriage. Oh, That's so why I'm very unhappy. Oh. So, okay, I don't want to ask you some more questions related to this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Can you be too young to be in love? Uh, love, do, I think in my uh, experience, love do not uh, uh, do not see the edge, or there is no, and uh, edge should not be considered in the love. Love is just the the the. Love will come from the heart, and whenever you see someone and and uh, you lost your heart on her, so then love will start from there. Okay. But sometimes you know we think that it is love, but it is not love. Mm -hmm. It is infatuation. 
In situation? No. In infatuation. This. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. Let me see. Infatuation. Yeah. No, I don't know. What's this? Do you see it in uh, your language? No. Infatuation means this is not love, just attraction. Mm. So do you think that okay. sometimes it is infatuation? You think it is love but it is infatuation. It is love but it is in infatuation. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, so what kind of dreams do you have? I always dream that my wife should have come back. situation because the same thing here in my family I am having because my younger brother he is also living with me he also lost his wife two years back and she was also quite young so we have we have also faced the same situation we have been facing you can say so <clears throat> But you know, it's life and uh, yeah. life is just like, a, you know, it is not a music player where you can play what you like to listen. It's a kind of radio and you have to listen to what actually it is being telecast. <laughs> Getting my point? Yes, yes, I know. So, we have to actually, you know, compromise yeah. with the situation. Mm, yeah. Okay. So, how much of your dream do you remember? So, uh, every day in, I think about my ex-wife. I remember her, her her words. I remember her her stories. I remember every act of her. So and it was just five years back, five years ago. But still, I remember her. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Here I tell you a very small story. And uh, I hope you will be motivated by this and you will like it. Actually, you know, there was a man and he had a daughter. Right? Okay. There was a man yes. and he had a daughter. And they So were, there was a man and he had a daughter. Yes. And they okay. they both were very happy, the life was going on. But one day the daughter actually fell sick. And he um, mm -hmm. he took her to the hospital. She was admitted there, she was treated by the doctor. But finally she died actually. Okay. And that man was alone and it was really very tough time for the man to pass so what he did actually he kept crying every day the whole day right 
Okay. So means uh, he didn't want to survive. He wanted to, you know, uh, kill himself because actually he didn't like uh, his life without his daughter because he loved his daughter very much, and they both lived together. So one day, actually, when he slept for some time. and then he had a dream and what was the dream he saw the picture of the heaven the picture of the heaven that the people who died on this earth they were there in the heaven and they all were having uh, you know candle Okay, candle yes, candle, and that candle was lighting. But okay. his his daughter was also there. He saw in his dream that means the people who died on this earth were there in the heaven. They all had a candle, and it was lighting, and. his daughter was also there she also had that candle but her candle was not lighting then in his dream he asked his daughter that why was uh, it so then the daughter replied and the daughter replied the dad there all the 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 people who candle is lighting they are very happy but i am not happy here because you kept crying there on the earth and your tears actually your tears extinguished my candle all the time okay getting my point Yeah, yeah. So dad, so she actually suggested her father not to cry. Go ahead and start his new life. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the story. A very good story. It was very good. Yes. so we have to forget the things which have passed because this is life we have to think forward yes it is yeah. i it is difficult i know but time is a very good healer <coughs> it is sad it's a proverb the time is a very good time itself is a very good healer it heals all the wounds right yeah yeah yes good okay so next hmm. okay why do some people have money problems money problem yeah why because he is there because they are unable to save the money for their future hmm. Okay, when you see any person who is poor, who has no money, what do you think of them? Uh, who is responsible for that if they are poor, or if they are unable to earn money, or if they are unable to make both the hands meet? Then who are responsible for their poverty? Who are responsible for their poverty? 
So government is responsible. Government need to create jobs for them, and government is required to to offer them some free services like medical education. These are should be offered to them free of cost. Yeah, and uh, do you think that uh, it's government's duty to create employment for them? Yeah, yeah, it's the government duty to create jobs for them. But government actually, you know, the leaders, political leaders, they are always busy. <laughs> yeah, with the politics. Make, yeah, politicians How? are always busy making money for themselves or for their family. What do you think? Yeah, you are right. That's the case, yes. So does it happen in your country too that the politicians, they are rich, they make money by corruption and they don't take care of the people? Does it happen? Same is, is it a common practice? Yeah, same as here. Yeah, yeah, it's very common. Yeah. Hmm. So, what means, do you think that people should oppose all these practices? Mm, yeah, if possible. But some of the people who are very close to the politicians or they, if they like any particular politician, they don't actually oppose his practices, even they support him. For their own values. Okay. Okay, so how much money do you think you should have today so you can stop working? For I will work. I will work for... Uh, if I have the money as well, I will work till I'm alive. No, no, you will work, but that time you will not work for the money. You will work for some other cause. So how much money do you need to work for the people, for the welfare of the people? Not for our people. How much money do you need? So, how much Afghani do you need to stop working for money? So, if I have uh, if I have 15 million dollars, then I will stop working. Okay. 15 million means uh, it is in crore. Ten million dollars. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you will stop working. Yeah. So wh what usually do you wear? Pant shirt, mm -hmm. suit, coat, jeans, t-shirt. Pant shirt. Pant shirt. Okay. Pant shirt usually. Okay. So is it cold in Afghanistan these days? Very much cold. Minus uh, 13, 14. Oh my god. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So do you take exercise? Morning. Yes. Yeah. What do you do? Running, jogging. Go to the gym and both. So you means you are aware of uh, keeping yourself fit and healthy. Yes. Yes. Okay. And are you aware of uh, eating also? 
Yes. <laughs> so, as you know, some of the people they always uh, eat over and they get fat. Yes. So, so what exactly. you think? Uh, you'd like to keep yourself slim trim or just you want to eat a lot and you won't care if you get fat. No, I don't like to eat too much. So do you enjoy shopping? Sorry? Do you enjoy shopping? Yeah. So do you go to shopping malls with your wife or children? Yeah, I go to shopping with my children. What is your uh, or do you put on sometimes jeans and t shirt? Yes, but no, uh, not now in the winter. Yeah, okay. So, what usually you put on to protect yourself from cold and cough? Not cuffs or cold, protect from winter. So I usually wear uh, long coat. Hmm. So do you put on long coat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you always use your car to go outside yeah i always use my car whenever i go outside okay do you prefer online shopping sometimes i'm um, um, shopping online so do you have means uh, e-commerce website in your country 